there is a growing citizens movement uh, demanding an explanation of chemtrails. And I talked to my NSA buddies at Fort Carson, Peterson Air Force Base, at Buckley, where I was actually their doctor taking care of the pilots flying and spraying the chemtrails. So I know it's real. If anybody says it's not real, they're full of it. It's not the same as conducting some localized uh, test for some defensive project. This is open air operations. It's not a test. This is this this thing is in place. It didn't start till about 1996. Exactly. And, uh, you know, growing up my whole life, a condensation trail district, you know, the 20 seconds, a minute, two minutes. And now it can be in the summer at like 4,000 feet, and there's these big clouds behind jets. Some jets leave, leave it behind, uh, leave a trail behind them. Other jets at the same flight level, same altitude don't. And, you know, instead of just getting into are they spraying us or what's changed in the jet fuel or what's changed in the atmosphere, there are tens of thousands of declassified admissions under different programs where uh, different uh, Pentagon programs, different uh, agencies of the government have tested chemical, biological, and radiological agents on the American people. Talking about this a few years ago was extremely dangerous. Now that we have YouTube and more social networking devices such as even uh, <laughs> Rupert's MySpace, uh, this is really getting out in such a way that they can't control it. They must just be really, if you can use the expression, shitting themselves over this because they can't control people now talking about the elephant in the room, what is so obvious to, to all of us. There's a feeling uh, from that area that the state doing all of these weather modification programs might m not be doing it for the benefit of the citizens of Texas and other states that they may impact as well. Well, many of the planes that we're seeing here in Abilene will actually turn whatever they're spraying on and off right before our eyes. I mean, you'll see a plane up there flying like normal and then all of a sudden it starts spraying. We've seen them fly off into the distance and then loop around and fly back again. These are not your typical planes with a preordained path destination from city to city. Someone needs to explain to me why do they stop traveling in one particular direction and then loop around and, and come back again. They perform this behavior so many times that we start seeing the tic-tac-toe grids in the sky. We're witnessing the giant X's. And I mean, Rosalind, when you and I grew up, these contrails naturally dissipated in a few seconds or perhaps a minute max. But these things expand, they grow bigger, and before you know it, the entire sky is overcast. That's correct. And they, they are there all day. They do lose the loop um, around um, our county and our state. We follow them at times with spotters in different areas, watching the planes loop come back around and we know from the FAA records that uh, the jets from commercial airlines fly in straight lines and coming across their county, our county, there aren't many and they stay mostly in certain patterns. The jets that we see leaving the persistent jet contrails move in directions that normal jets wouldn't fly because it would use too much fuel and put them off schedule. And the jets that we see here do loops. We've got pictures of them looping the same X's and cross hatches. But I believe that some of that, uh, not only are they looking for keeping something in the air almost all the time, but we feel that some of the markings are to mark the start and stop areas for their programs so that they can watch their experiments either from satellite or the ground.
why do they want to keep this quiet? Why aren't they talking about this? Why won't? Why don't they want us talking about it? And you can only come to the conclusion that they're hiding something. Now, do you believe that this is a full-scale secret operation that includes not only the U.S., but Europe and the rest of the world? Well, that's apparent because you can see the the pictures from all over the world, and I get them constantly. Uh, some areas are worse than others. The excuse for this is, number one, weather modification. Number two to save us from global warming, and number three, to save us from the terrorists. Uh, a lot of these programs, of which there are many patterns, and which has been uh, designated as wake vortex simulation, carried out by NASA Langley Research Center, uh, many of these operations uh, and the patents go on to explain how if there is a, a biological attack by uh, terrorists at some point, that these exercises and practices will, in a sense, save us with the spider webbery uh, that comes down from the aerosol spraying, potentially gathering the chemical mass spray that could be sprayed on any given population. The problem with that is uh, the terrorists don't have the means to deliver this. They don't have the access to deliver this over the American populace, per se. And the only people who have been doing this, that is biological experiments on the American people, is the military themselves, which has been admitted from everything from Operation Shad to the spraying that happened in San Francisco, I believe back in the 60s and the 70s, that literally killed people. Um, again, I may not be able to, to ascribe intent, but what I can say is that it is, it is expected that there will be increased mortality as well as the potential of a huge host of unknown uh, pathogens uh, that we are subject to. And this is not based on speculation. There's a whole, whole arena of biological uh, research that we haven't even begun to touch on. Could a strange substance found Armed by a with these lab Arkansas results about the high levels of, of barium government. found in our sample. We decided to contact the Louisiana Department of Health and Safety. The official oh, explanation here is that jet contrails, contrails, contrails are causing strange lines exactly in the sky. What effects and that barium has on the body? Short-term exposure can lead to anything from stomach to chest pains. Long-term exposure causes blood pressure problems. Ryan addressed concerns by chemtrail researchers that barium could be meant to wear down a person's immune system. We're talking about dominating our air supply without the human consent in a, in a way that is, is difficult for many of us certainly to conceive and certainly many of us refuse to accept it even in the light of sufficient and overwhelming evidence.